Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we're going to do some bash shell scripting with command line input. We'll take information from the command line terminal, and then we'll be able to use it inside of our script. This helps if you need information from a user to make specific decisions on what you will execute next in your script. If you need help setting, if you need help setting up the new shell script, make sure to check out the first video in the series where we talk about what bash shell scripting is and how to create and run your first script. All right, let's get into things now. I'm going to run a terminal here, and I'm currently in my documents folder where I've been doing my scripting. What I'll first do is create a new file. I'm going to use nano to do this. I'm going to call it command line args for arguments, and then just .sh at the end there. And in here, let's first start out by putting our magic line in, the line that tells where bash is currently located. So for me, it's user bin bash. And now I can start scripting. If you're new and stopping by to watch a scripting video today, please make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. So the very first bit of information that you can get from the command line is always the name of the script that you're executing. So how do you do this? Well, pretty simple. There's a variable that you can always access, which is dollar sign zero. And that's the very first argument that gets passed into the shell script from the command line. And that will be the name of the script that you're executing. So we can just do echo and then I'll put a comment here that says, this is the name of the script currently being executed. So let's go ahead and try this out. Do I wanna save the modify buffer? Yes. And in order to run my script, I'm gonna go ahead and change the permissions on it so it's executable. And now I can run it. So as you can see here, we put in command line arguments.sh to run, and that's exactly what got echoed out back at us. So let's go back in and just check out where that came from. Well, we said to echo this special variable here, so dollar sign zero. Again, this is just the name of the script currently being executed. So for a few more things that you can do here with the command line, we can keep going down the number chain all the way to something like echo to the whatever n, and this one won't run, but uh, we'll just say up to some n of command line arguments. So if we just do echo one, echo two, echo three, and we'll save an exit out of this script, rerunning it, you'll see that we again get the command line arguments sh, which is the script that we're running, but we have a three lines here that have nothing in them. That's because we didn't supply the shell script with more commands. So we can do that though, if we just do arg1 and then space arg2 and then space arg3, arg short for arguments. And if we press that in, you can see now that we get some extra arguments spit back out at us. We can also add a fourth argument, but since we didn't say to go ahead and echo that one out, you have to specifically say how many arguments you want to spit out or use. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. All right, let's go back into the script and let me show you something else. Let's say you don't want to go through and individually write out what was passed in to your shell script. You can do it a different way. Instead of the numbers, we can use dollar sign and the at symbol, and this will give us a list of all the arguments passed in. So I'm rerunning the same command that we did last. And as you can see here, we echoed out our first three arguments after the shell script name. And then we have a list of all the arguments that actually got passed in. So arg one, two, three, four. So that's another useful tool to use here whenever dealing with the command line arguments from a user. All right, and something else that's useful to us is if we know the list of command line arguments that got passed in, we might also wanna know how many got passed in because you might not allow the user to run the script in case you have a certain amount of command line arguments. If we do dollar sign hashtag, this will let you know how many command line arguments there have been passed in. We'll check that out real quick. As you can see here, four were passed in besides the script name. So that's because the script name is always passed in. Without giving the name, you can run the script so right here we have one, two, three, four arguments. Going back in here, now we can write an if else statement. So let's make an if clause down here. So if something happens, then we'll do something else. We'll do something else and end if statement. All right, and let's take advantage of this if statement to go ahead and check if the right number of arguments were supplied. So now that we know that dollar sign hashtag 
gives us the amount of command line arguments given to our shell script. We can do dollar sign, pound sign, greater than, let's say, three arguments. And let's make sure we put our brackets here. If they supplied more than three arguments, then we'll say echo the user supplied enough command line arguments. Otherwise, we'll echo out that the user has not supplied enough command line arguments. And this time we're gonna run again with our four arguments. And as you can see here, we have the user supplied enough command line arguments. Well, that's great because four arguments were supplied, four is greater than three, that worked out pretty well. But what if we supply only three? Well, this time it says the user has not supplied enough command line arguments, which that's what, exactly what we would expect since we were only given three and three is not greater than three. So this is a great way to go ahead and check how many arguments a user gave you and verify that your script can run correctly because they gave you enough arguments. Or if it can't run, you just tell them that you can't run the script because they haven't supplied enough arguments. So it's a great thing to know how to use and how to access these arguments from the command line. A lot of scripts and programs that run in terminal have arguments passed into them. All right, and last thing I wanna mention is the dollar sign star or asterisk, which this will give a single word as opposed to a list of arguments. So when these two aren't uh, quoted, they're practically the same, but if they do get quoted, you'll get a single word with all the arguments put into it with the dollar sign asterisk, as opposed to an expanded list with each individual command line argument that was passed in using the dollar sign at symbol. And that's really it on how to get command line input from a user passed into your shell script. I hope you enjoyed this Bash Shell scripting tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.